so I just got the Trailblazer back from the shop today, finally. Um, so you can see I got some aftermarket wheels put on it and I was able to actually put a leveling kit on the front of it as well. One of the guys I work with, Jonathan, helped me put a leveling kit on it. So if you can see, you have your strut here and then right up here, you can see there's a spacer here. It bolts it up nice right to the top um, of where the strut tower is and actually gave me two inches in the front. Um, I saw a lot of videos that said this upper control arm, you have to flip it upside down and swap sides. But a lot of the forums I saw um, said that you only had to do that if it was more than a two inch spacer and that is a two inch spacer up here. So whenever I first had these tires put on this, you can actually see some rub marks here. This was actually rubbing on the wheel itself. Um, and I'd ordered some two inch wheel spacers and they got canceled. The order came in late, so go eBay. So I finally ordered some more and the, thankfully the shipping was expedited. So now, as you can see, they kind of sit out a little bit wider than the vehicle themselves, which I think looks nice. This is probably the maximum I would go, but for these specific purposes, I, I needed them so I could actually, you know, try the vehicle and not have it rub. Um, don't mind the minor parking lot mistake that we had. Um, but as you can see through the back, it looks very nice as well. Um, I kind of want to show you a side profile here, but I'm really happy with them. <clears throat> um, and just in case you were wondering, this is a 2004 Trailblazer. It's the EXT, which means if you look here, you know, a normal Trailblazer probably starts about here roughly, but I have a little bit extra extension on the back. I guess what EXT stands for, it has third row. So this vehicle also has four wheel drive and it has the, the LS, the 5.3 in it. So it's got the eight cylinder engine. Pretty sure this is one of the only ones other than the Trailblazer SS that comes with the eight cylinder stock. Um, as you can see, I have my tools out here. These side steps, I'm gonna take those off. It's not high enough to use them, and I think it'll probably look a little more aggressive, have a little bit better. It'll look like it rides a little higher without that on there, to be honest. So I'm going to probably do that here in the next couple minutes. Um, actually, I'll show you in the back what I'm going to do, um, plans I have coming up in the future. Um, let's see. So as you can see here, I have um, speaker wire. I'm going to be wiring up. Um, the same guy helped me put in the love in the case. He's a real nice guy, obviously. I'm going to pay him something, but he gave me the sub and the amp. So I bought speaker wire to run that. Um, I have a light bar here that I'm going to mount in the front. I'll show you where the light bar is going to go. And I have this black to black um, trim restore. So I'm going to put that on all this gray. As you can see, all this gray is faded out. Don't mind this dirt here, but all this gray is faded out. So I'm going to put that back to black, which I guess is exactly what, why it's called that. Well, these are actually LED headlights that I'm going to put on my wife's um, Honda Pilot. Um, so that's what I have coming up. I'm going to show you where I'm going to put that light bar real fast as well. Um, I may have to do some type of modification, some type of um, drilling, but I want to mount it here. Um, if you can see where that is under the grill. Um, I don't think these posts here are going to get in the way, but I might have to cut out some of the bottom. They used to have this big ugly mount there for like a front license plate. You can see the four holes. So I took that off. This actually had the billet grill on it too when I bought it, which is pretty cool. Um, I did do LED um, headlights and fog lights, so I'm gonna show you those real fast. Mind all the movement as I walk around. Um, let's see, I turn the key on to do this, okay. So obviously I have a headlight, fog light. So I'll show you what that looks like real fast. Obviously you won't be able to see how it looks at nighttime, but um, let's see. So, I mean, it looks really nice. The, the headlights work like magic at nighttime going down the road as well. Um, but, so I really, I've really been enjoying those. Um, like I said, I think it just gives it a very sharp look and they're obviously very useful because, you know, they help me see a lot at nighttime. Um, also what I did LED recently, sorry about my finger there, was I did these interior lights. The LED interior lights, if you can see those, I mean, you can tell hopefully they're a little bit different than, you know, the, the stock ones. They're normally like an off yellow. Um, that one in the very rear, I was one bulb short, so I took it out. These are actually almost, people probably consider these to be too bright. I'll see if I can put a video on there uh, of them at nighttime in the future. But they are like, I mean, it's like night. It's literally like daytime in here when those lights come on, which I guess would help you in the future. You know, if you ever lost anything in your car at nighttime. Got the double din dash as well. See, here's my full drive switch and my rear windshield wiper. Um, see, I got the reverse light on so I can see where I'm going when I back up. 
Let's turn that sound down. Um, and I want to show you real fast what that reverse camera looks like. It's very minimalist. You can't really see it at all. So there's the reverse camera right there. Um, but yeah, so I just want to show you guys a quick update on this. I'm going to go ahead and try to take these side steps off and we can start on that and get the back to black on by the end of today. As you can see, I still need to replace some of these um, sun visors. I think the one on the rear left is actually missing. So that's been kind of irritating me, so I'm going to replace those as well. But I just want to give you guys a quick update and I'm going to go ahead and get started on trying to take these side steps off now. So thanks for watching.